Call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this third day of January 2023 at 4 p.m. Uh, I'm going to ask our county attorney, Justin Cowan, to lead us in a prayer and pledge the flag. If you will bow your heads. Lord, thank you first for all the blessings that we've received and, uh, during this uh, special time of Christmas and New Year's. And, and Lord, be with all those that were dealt with the flooding today and all the issues that came with that. And also, Lord, be with that family that is dealing with the player that suffered such a, a, such a horrible, uh, tragic uh, accident during this recent football game. And, and Lord, we also ask that we be with these magistrates in, in this new court and our new representatives in the various elected offices as they have chosen a path on which to help the public. And, and we ask that you be with them in that path. And that they make these decisions in the best interest of all of us. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, 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 America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you, you have the minutes of the December 13th meeting. I need a motion to approve that. So Second. Motion by Larry Morphew, second by Jason Bull. Yeah. Any, dis no, Any discussion, corrections, or additions? Discussions, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Uh, Polls like sign. The minutes are approved. Uh, Put on the agenda for a few, for me, I'm going to make just a few opening remarks. Really proud to have all of you here. Uh, it, it's a good day. We're starting a new uh, term. Uh, I want all of the new elected officials out here as well as the new magistrates to know that uh, I'm here for you. Anytime you want to call me, uh, we'll make all of our decisions together. But cooperation is going to be uh, very important. Um, and and uh, we've proven lately that we can get a whole lot more done that way, right, Larry? Yep. Yep. Uh, and also, so I'm just proud of, proud of what we're doing, and uh, all of y'all are going to do well. But like I said, just be sure to call me if you need anything, and uh, we will. Uh, we're going. We're going to make this a good. Uh, get a lot done, but we want to enjoy it as well. So. Uh, I also want to ask, Jason had uh, asked, and so under open remarks, the only place I can do this on special call meeting, give an update on the flooding. I'm going to ask Charlie Shields to come up and give us an uh, update on that. Uh, and so everybody knows we had massive flooding throughout the county today. Uh, according to the National Weather Service in here, we had between five and a half, six inches of rain from from Forgeville to the Rockport. So that was the average rainfall that we had in this county. Uh, we had approximately 20 to 22 people off in the backwater of vehicles, and we evacuated seven homes in Beaverdale. And all the homes are being helped out by the Red Cross as of this moment. And Perfect. Mike Henry got hit hard, but your area down there has got really hit hard in the Mike Henry area. And we're working with them, trying to help them hopefully I don't know if we will, because even though we signed the president or signed a declaration, uh, the state's got to be hit 13 million before we get anything from FEMA. So I don't know if that's going to happen or not. That was going to be my next question. Are we going to are they going to qualify these people in their homes? You know, I don't know. Uh, and Pat's here too. We've been working with that today. Uh, we're going to try everything we can to make it. We put the request in through the state. Uh, kind of in their hands right now. And this is my next question too, because like all the flooding. If you look through Beaver Down, there's corn husk and everything stopped up everywhere. Is there a way that we can get some funding to help clean our ditches out? Since that's, I mean, our, what, what do we do in that situation? Well, see, over in Beaver Down, that's all the farmer that comes in mm -hmm. to the backside, so that's all the city. They've done it last time after the last one. They come in and wiped out them houses and all that, so they thought they had it fixed, but the farmer just gets his field cleaned every time it rains. So, uh, yeah. 
I don't know how we're going to help that. I just didn't know if there was any funding because of that, if we could help clean those ditches. I don't know what I mean, because we checked last time, yeah. and we actually had the railroad company come in and help clean that. But if we all look at Beaver Dam, you know, how it goes down to Bruce School Road, mm -hmm. you know, you got five, three wow. five-foot tiles going into the one three-foot tile, that ain't going to help out at all. But uh, hopefully we can get that fixed over in that area. So, but right now it's all them down there south of the edge is full of, the corn tusk and all that from the field. Did it actually get in anybody's house? Yes. Up into anybody's house? Yes, on Taylor Avenue, so 127, 123. It's like four, three or four houses right there that actually got in their houses. And was there one on Lafayette? One house, it got right up to the floor. Okay. didn't actually get into the house, but it got right up to the floor on it. Because we had boats in there to get them. But that family, you said they were at a motel. Everybody I know of, as of this moment, has been helped out by the Red Cross that can be helped. Or as a stated family member's house. And I know there were two homes in Mike Henry that had two foot of water in it, but they got them out as well. So. Yeah, I was down here this morning yeah. about 4.30 on them. And well, actually, the sheriff was too. He was on one end, was on the other end. And it's probably the most water, and I've been doing this 24 years here. It's yeah. absolutely the most water I've ever seen in my Henry. Yeah. Charlie, I want to say thank you to the emergency personnel. The sheriff got out there early, I know, and, and the uh, fire department. I know they were to be out there early. I want to thank you all you guys. For three o'clock, oh, didn't they? Yeah. About three. And you know, I have to take credit. We even got Bo up and out this morning. He actually helped us. <laughs> oh, that, is, uh, <laughs> that was first. I think Judge called him up. Okay, thank that's, you, what, that's where we're at today. Thank you. Uh, we need to next. We need to approve the sh uh, sureties. Uh, they, that's our bonds and stuff. Mine is separate. Some of the others are. All your, the mattress is all in one big bond. But we've got to approve that. Uh, the KRS sixty-seven seven twenty. I make a motion to approve it. Motion by Larry Morphew. I'll second again. Second by Jason Bullock. Is there any discussion? Or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion passes. Um, the fee office budgets, which is the uh, sheriff and the clerk, uh, we have to set uh, approve their budgets as well, even though they're the ones that prepare them. You need to do them separately, please. Even on item five, you need two motions. Please. Okay, I need one to uh, approve the uh, sheriff's uh, office budget, the fee office budget, the sheriff's office. So let me ask you this real quick. Is that approving the budget that we've already approved that they have, or is that... No, this is what they estimate they're going to turn over to us, what they're going they're to just collect. Asking, what they're okay. Going to, yes. What they're going to collect. Is this from the fiscal year or the start motion? They're on, the they're sheriff and clerk are actually <laughs> calendar year. Yeah, they go January 1, the... Okay. I'll make Larry, a motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. I'll second. Second by uh, Michael McKinney. Okay. Okay. Uh, is, there, is there any other further discussion on that one? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Now we need a motion similar for the clerks. Let's make a motion. Uh, motion by Bo Bennett. Can it count? Can it count? Second, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who seconded it? Bo Bennett. Bo Bennett. <laughs> hey, I got him. I came too quick. And I really appreciate that participation. Uh, any more discussion on it? All in favor say aye. Post uh -huh. like sign. Let's go. Okay, I've got to sign these real quick and then we'll go move on. Okay, uh, do, do, do they have this in their packet? This in there? Okay. Okay, the, uh, we've got to approve the sheriff's annual order setting maximum amount for deputies and assistants. Uh, yeah, sheriff's is what I said. Are you going to do clerk first? Okay. Same way, though, for the clerks, 
uh, sa salaries and wages and all that. We've got to approve that. And it's not by individual, it's by uh, all together. So, uh, Can you say the amount, please? Her, her amount was $454,215 for her deputy assistants and other employees. Did it, how much is it? That is what is currently budgeted. In That's currently office. budgeted. Yes. So it's not for what we're going to do. Maybe we think about looking. No. Okay. I'll make the motion. Go ahead and accept it. Motion by yes, the no. clerks. I'll second. Second by Michael McKinney. I, took, I had two places there. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Thank you, carries. I'll be signing here. These are still the same for what they would be in July, wouldn't they? Yeah, okay. Yeah, if there's anything done, I have to make an amendment. Okay. Yeah. Now, now we're ready for the sheriff's. Same thing for the sheriff, but his receipts he's turned over to uh, all of his deputy's assistance cost one me five hundred and seventy nine thousand two hundred and thirty two dollars for all the deputies assistants and other employees be counted who wants to do that i'll make the motion to motion with jason bull the sheriff's sheriff's maximum amount of second 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 by larry morphew Do we have any discussion? Or, do we have any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. I don't sign here. I mean, you write down who did everything. They don't have to sign. I know. You're going to fix it, right? Yeah. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. <coughs> Okay, you want to pass the motion, this is for Landon. We need a motion to allow him to take the, accept the bond fees at the jail under KRS 431-5305. And Finn, if you don't want to let him do it, well, you can go over and do it for him. How about that? But we do have to pass it to the end of it. Rip always did this. Motion by Kenneth Callaway. Got it right that time. Second. Second by Jason Bullock. Any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Okay, did, you, did they all get a list of county employees? No. That means we don't do that. Have no money. Have we have everybody that's working here now? There's no nobody new added. This is the county employees as of this day, with accepting the, the ones that come on the agenda later. This listed on this agenda. This is to reinstate all county employees at the wages they're making as of December 31st. Of 2022. If we want to get rid of anybody, it's time to do it. You can't do it. Oh my gosh. We, I think, I think of the three-day uh, conference training that Larry Morphew and I went to. I believe every hour someone re reiterated that to us. The failure to reappoint is like an improper dismissal. If there's a problem with anybody, you address it. As the time goes on, for a reason. So I need a motion for that. I made the motion or whoever. Uh, Larry Moore, if you made the motion, you second it, Jason. Everybody's back. Hmm. Okay, uh, any further discussion? Is there any discussion? No discussion? Yeah, Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. All the county employees are reinstated. With the exception of, at this point we need to reappoint our emergency management director who is Charlie Shields. 
which most of you know, but under KRS 39B.020, he has to be reappointed. And that's the name I'm putting to you. So I believe on that one, it's a, don't need a second, you need a roll call vote. All right, McKinney. We still have a motion. We still need the motion. Need a motion and a second. Yeah. I, I think on the appointment you just do and on this just the appointment here yeah you just mm -hmm. do the appointment and roll call vote okay. do you want a motion to say just to be on the safe side okay if you have somebody wants to they can but that's my thing i'll send by voting yeah. if you need that way you second. Have, i'll second second by jason book i don't think it, just make sure okay i thought on the emergency might but maybe not okay go ahead and do the roll call okay yes Bullock? No. Yes. <laughs> Bennett? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Um, okay. We have to, this is what, I'm, I'm sure this is what this goes. I put up the name for the new road, for the road supervisor. He's not very new. Uh, the uh, road supervisor. And we can have the option of electing him for a two-year term or four-year term. Um, he's been here for um, a couple years. He's done really well. So I'm going to go ahead and nominate him for the uh, for a four-year term. And of course, that's Nick Wool. So it is. So uh, I guess if anybody wants to second that, they can. I'll second. Second by Larry Morphew. So at that point, do a roll call. McKinney. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Johnson? Yes. Callaway? Yes. Morgan? Yes. Okay. In, I will say this in the past, but I, 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 I'm a recommending, and this is a continuation, <laughs> of the second and fourth Tuesdays at 5 o'clock, with the exception of Dece November and December, and those will change because of the holidays. Um, and we try to have one meeting during that time somewhere in the middle of those two meetings to get them done. But that's what I'm uh, recommending. And did everybody get a list yes. get that? Okay. That's what I'm recommending. Does any of y'all have a problem doing you need it? need a motion on that? And, and uh, yeah, and I'll tell you what else about it. The reason we do it at five is first so the public can come, and two, so the committee meetings can meet in four. And after next week, all of them is going to be on committees. They have one time, don't meet every time, court meeting, but they meet from time to time. And that way you don't have to make a special trip in. And we'll give it time to do it. So, uh, yeah, I do need a motion, Larry. Mm -hmm. So, what is it? Change the meeting. The motion by Larry Morphy. Second. Second, by, <coughs> second by, you take it. Right, put your one more. Okay, both. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, all in favor say aye. Opposed like time. We have our meeting schedule set. Yeah, if, if, if you were correct, it could have been either. It could either have been by motion or by your by nomination on the appointment. Just wanted to let you know when I was looking it up. So, okay. yes, it hey. could be either one, and you could be correct. Hey, you know, it's you kind of, had to tell him. Okay. It kind of, hey. Hold well, on to make sure. A little something. I think this is my 40th year in county government. No, last year was. It makes 41. So you actually you accidentally learn a few things. <laughs> <laughs> it does use the word or, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to appoint the administrative code committee. I think I've spoken to everybody on it that I'm appointing, but one. Uh, appoint Ken, Kenny Autry, Ann Melton, Adam Wright. Can put him, see if we get him to work. Uh, Jason Bullock, Kenneth Callaway, Cassidy Stevens, and Jason Burden. So uh, that's Dutch's appointment of, of the Administrative Code Committee. And uh, you're going to be the. Okay. You're the. I have a Are we set? Are we set on the number for that? No. Is there anyone in that group of names that from the jail? You know what? I'd be glad. I'll take off. Uh, 
Adam Wright, Gillian? No, I'm not going to take Adam Wright off. They fired him yesterday. <laughs> now, I tell you what we, we, we'll do. Uh, we'll go ahead and put uh, Jacob Spurlock on there. It's, we'll put him on too. If you want to nominate Jackie later, you can. <laughs> Landon Spurlock. Okay. Uh, with this being a special call meeting, we can only do business that's on the agenda. However, in, I, I think I can tell you in two uh, in one week, isn't it? To ten, we'll be right back here, and I'll be up. And at that time, each one of you will be called on for comments and remarks, and uh, and can bring up business that's not on the agenda at that time. But on this uh, on this one, we have to. Uh, oh, I know one other thing I want to do before I di dismiss it. I would like all the the uh, leadership team and the new elected officials to stand up and identify them to, and to give me give all of them your name. Okay, I've got to do that next thing. I forgot. Uh, I was looking at those agenda. Don't everybody go at once. Jennifer, start with you. Jennifer Gardy, Animal Control Officer. The guy with no hair there, go at your name. <coughs> I, no, I didn't mean, I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah I, you'll be fine too. I'm the little one this time. I'm Adam Ryan. I'm Charlie Shields' bodyguard. So, <laughs> okay. New Sheriff. So. Okay. Charlie. Lance Barlock. I'm the new jailer. Okay. All right, Park Director. And Nick? That's <laughs> right. Nick Wolland, Grub Corner. Cassidy Stevens, Payroll Administrator. Ann Melton, old treasurer. Uh, yeah, she's sort of the prettiest treasurer in the state of Kentucky, actually. Uh, You're trying to make points. <laughs> but anyway, uh, with that said, because uh, oh yeah, uh, I point. I'm, I want to make an appointment here that actually you have to prove it at every meeting that it actually happened, but it'd be the first thing on there. I want to appoint Jason Bullock to be the pro temp of the court. That means if I'm not here, he calls the meeting to order, then ask for permission from y'all to preside. So you could technically vote him out and vote somebody else in and preside that meeting. But I want him to be the pro temp. That means he is my choice to preside in my absence. And that's been happened two times in my 12 years. So. If that tells you it doesn't happen very often. But it probably will once in 2022. Uh, 2023. It did happen once in 2022. Uh, but with that said, with no no other things on the agenda, I'm going to call this meeting adjourned. Thank you.